Four emerging choreographers from New Zealand's leading tertiary dance institutions get to offer a fresh perspective and showcase their own works inspired by our renowned Marley Johnson work. To tell us more about this exciting production, Four Leaps, One Point, please welcome to the cafe two of its choreographers, Amelia Chong and Bella Wilson. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Um, Amelia, congratulations first to you both yep. for being involved with this. Um, Amelia, can you explain what the process has been? So that your inspiration comes from Marley's work? Yes. How does it work? Yes. So we first got um, approached by De 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 Decipher Production, which is um, led by Zoe and Hadley, and then they emailed us, inviting us to be one of the emerging choreographers to do the show. And we had meetings with Millia Johnson herself, and then we kind of had, she talked talk to us about her themes under miniatures, part, as part of miniatures, and then from there we kind of just took different ideas from miniatures and made it our own. And from there we just went into studios, chose our own dances, and created our own pieces of work. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and Bella, tell me, uh, so, so how does your piece work? Um, so the, the themes I went from... Uh, <laughs> the themes I took from miniatures were these ideas of being isolated and living on an island, um, and also the idea of the war on the body. Um, so we started off with some long improvisations with my two dancers who are in the work and some things that kind of evolved from there were um, these ideas of internal and external mm. conflict, um, communication breakdown and the things that we cling on to, whether they're objects or people or belief systems and how mm. um, we basically use these things to make us feel okay. Wow, that's quite a. There's a lot of emotion and a lot of uh, involvement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of layers. Yeah. 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 Um, and the yeah. thing about you too is that your dancers are identical twins as well. Um, does that form? Is that part of the piece as well? Yeah. So um, Brittany and Natasha Kohler are actually two of my friends who I recently graduated with, and we grew up dancing together as well. So I've known them for a really long time, um, and they're amazing to work with. And mm. they both have, despite the fact that obviously they've got lots of similarities, they've got really different ideas as well. And so I find it really exciting to work with two people who are so in sync and really understand each other but also bring really different flavours as performers so yeah. that's really exciting. And Amelia there are two other choreographers yes, involved, do they take a different direction? Yeah, so there are two other choreographers, uh, Kerry and Mayhew and uh, Selena Torres and there are two also emerging choreographers who have recently just graduated and Kerian's working with the idea of architecture, so physical ar architecture but she took it with the idea of technology, so using technology to create spaces, which is real cool, and you guys have to see it because she's so amazing with technology, which I am not. <laughs> just not a girl with. So she's doing that and creating a new wall for her dancers. Wow. Whereas uh, Selena Torres, um, she's. Yeah, um, Cece yeah. has been working more um, on a movement based piece, mm. so she is incredible at crafting complex movement phrases mm. and working with her dancers in that way. So it'll be a really dancey piece, um, looking at isolation as yeah. well. Oh wow, Amelia, yeah. what's yours about? We haven't asked. Mine is about, mine is completely off tangent, so I was really inspired by a specific section of Amelia's work, which was um, the idea of the architecture of the body, of the human spine, and I was so intrigued by how the human body is moving that brought me into a whole new world of animalistic world, and I just created Oh, we can see yeah. it there, cool. Oh, that looks yeah, good. that one. So I just used the idea of um, the human body and created it to an involved animalistic movement to it so that, and I played with the idea of perceptions of how the human body is being perceived. Cause Sounds well, fascinating. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what, it sounds like it's something that everybody should come and check out because you've, uh, you've educated absolutely. me a little bit about dancing. You know what's really good too? Yeah. Uh, that you're both professional dancers and you can actually explain what you're doing as well because <laughs> sometimes it's difficult, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, no, it is. Okay, now I wanted to talk about this whole uh, pixel light suit performance. <laughs> uh, so, Bella, you freelance doing that, do you? Uh, yes, so I've done some work with Vospatron, which is... Um, a company that basically works with mm. technology with light suits um, and the suits that I've been in are full black morph suits with lots of little LED lights all over them which can flash in all sorts of different colour mm. combinations and in different timings so wow. it's really um, visually incredible to watch and there's um, 
big hoop skirts and that kind of thing. So it would also be a really cool um, party outfit to wear too. I've seen it on Absolutely. some of these talent shows, you know, like uh, yeah. America's Got Talent, yeah. Britain's Got yeah, Talent. I've seen really that, good. and it is incredible. Mm. Yeah. So, so Amelia, dance is always evolving, I guess, yeah. isn't it? Never slows yeah. down. Are you excited about, you know, what's happening with dance at the moment? I am super excited about what's happening with dance. I guess because I was originally from Singapore, so coming here it definitely opened my, up my mind about what dance is and also the idea of like different perspective that's mm. why in my work I try to not kind of set a perspective of what I want my audience to see but to give the audience um, a various way to see my, how the piece is involved yeah. and let the audience bring in their own perspective and just be aware of what is out there so yeah. do you want to do more choreography in the future I mean there's obviously a great ch a chance for you both isn't it yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think when you're working in New Zealand, you kind of have to be a bit of a jack of all trades mm. yeah. because there's maybe like 10 full-time dance jobs. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the really exciting things as well is that in our training we learn how to be creative mm. and dancers are also expected to choreograph. So I think everyone kind of graduates with their own ideas and their own stories mm -hmm. and interests as well. So it's a really exciting thing to do. Yeah. Right, and it's brilliant to get, you know, to come here and share yeah. with uh, us and New Zealand what is going on. I think it's brilliant. So best of yeah. luck. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, Four Leaps One Point will be playing at the Basement Theatre from September 26th to the 30th. For details, you can go to basementtheatre.co.nz.